Hey, God bless you, family. Welcome back to Rising Ground Church. Just a quick reminder that this is a ministry who has a mission to really help you grow in God, to really elevate in Christ through understanding more about who you are in Him, as well as deeper revelation of God and just breaking through religious barriers and these things that have held you back. And so if that's something that you desire, then just hit the subscribe button. We welcome you to the family. You know, many of you have been here, part of Rising Ground for quite some time. And so we're just so grateful for you and we love you and we love all of you that are new and we welcome you to join. So, okay, I am excited. I am, um, I know, let's say it this way. I know that this word is going to, thank you, Lord, is going to help unleash uh, more of God in your life because with revelation um, comes victory. With illumination comes um, more moments of testimony because when you see things differently, when you have a new perspective, then you're able to welcome more of God into your life. So the other day, now some of you may have saw the community post that I did and it said, just receive. I was in worship and I was just praising God and I was actually even um, thinking of some things that were going on with our family. And so I was like, you know what, let me just, let me just worship God. Let me just give God all of my worship right now. Just be really intentional with giving him my worship. And as I was doing that, I heard the Holy Spirit just keep repeating saying, just receive, just receive, just receive. And so he was saying that sometimes we, now I need you to pay attention, okay? Because there are multiple things in this and I have a vision to share that the Lord gave me as well. There are times when we think, that we're giving God our worship and this is an effort that we have to do in order to receive back from him. When he's saying, I need you to just be present with me and when you do that, then you receive. Now also, this is uh, referencing to legalism and to thinking that our acts is what makes us acceptable and makes us righteous, makes us holy enough to receive from God. So whether that's maybe you think that you need to pray more, maybe you think you need to fast more, maybe you think you need to worship and to uh, read your word more, that this is going to make you acceptable and is going to make you look qualified. Thank you, Lord, to receive from God. But God is saying this. First of all, he was giving me the example of grace. We know that grace is not something that can be earned, right? Grace is not something that you can work up enough in order to receive it. Grace is not something that if you read enough, if you pray enough, if you fast enough, if you show God you're worthy to receive grace, then you get it. That's not how it works. It's the same when God is saying that he has something for you to receive from him. Then you need to just surrender and knowing that God has already made the way. He's provided the way for you in order to receive it. Now it's up to you to do that, to surrender to the receiving process. Now pay attention to this. The receiving process can look different for each person and in different seasons in your life. Okay, now some of you have trouble with receiving, whether it's love, whether it's help, um, whether it's guidance or counsel or instruction. Some of you kind of struggle with that. Maybe you never experienced that. So then it's hard for you to receive when God is saying, I need you to just receive. But the other portion, this was a key point that he was telling me even just this morning because he just was continuing to expound on it to me. And he was saying that, you have got to be in this place where you're so just following the instruction of God. Following the divine instruction that God gives you is also just receiving. So the other, this is an example. The other night, um, and then let me go back. This is why you hear us talk about the divine flow because in the divine flow, you get instruction, you get direction. And in that place is you receiving what God has for you on the other side of that. Do you hear the difference? There's a difference. Let me know in the comments. Do you hear the difference in, in, in what that is? There's a difference in doing something out of legalism and because you think this is gonna make you qualified and versus 
doing something out of obedience, out of an instruction that the Lord has given you. So the other night, um, the other afternoon, rather, I was um, kind of going about my day. And all of a sudden, I, it was very subtle and because I had been thinking about my, my father. And the Lord said, you know, you might as well just call him now. And I was thinking, well... I had been so busy the last few days. I was really ready to just like relax with my husband. I was like, no, we're about to just relax, you know. And the Lord just kind of, it was very quiet, placed it on my heart. Now, me and my dad are really close. And um, but we just haven't been talking a lot lately because we both have been busy. Well, when I called him, then I said, oh, I feel, I was joking around. I said, oh, I feel special. I, you answered on the first ring. And he's like, you are special because you're my daughter. You're always special. You're my daughter. And he said it like two or three times. And so we just talked. We talked about like an hour and a half, just about everything. And when I was thinking back to that today, as the Lord was bringing all of this around to me, he was like, see, that's an example of you receiving because you followed that instruction. So sometimes the Lord will have you do something. He'll have you give something. But when the Lord is directing you to do it, and it can be a subtle guidance to doing it, then there's something for you to receive from it. So I received the love from my father. Some of you need to receive the love even from your heavenly father as well. Now, um, I had a vision of this woman and she had nine dogs and I just knew, I knew by the spirit, he said it was nine of them, but they were all, she was like a dog walker. And so she was walking these dogs and, but they were all crisscrossed. The leashes were going all over the place. And the Lord was saying, this is how it is when you're in chaos and disorder and you're not just receiving. These things are pulling you in all different directions. Now, the number nine specifically, he used that number. Uh, the number nine represents newness. It's the end of one thing and the beginning of another. So you've heard me talk about nine and the number 19 several times before. Now, nine also is like um, a completion of some sort. You think of nine months in pregnancy. There's a, a lot of biblical reference to the number nine as well. I won't get into all of that right now. But when he's saying this, you have to release the chaos even in your mind and the disorder in your mind that makes you think that you have to do something in order to receive. Remember the difference in responding and acting on an instruction in obedience versus doing something in a legalistic way that you're thinking makes yourself worthy to receive. God has already made you worthy. So freely receive grace, freely receive, just receive today is what the Lord is saying. I pray that this word um, enlightens you, that it helps you, that you become uh, more in tune and that you really understand what God is saying so that you can truly elevate in Christ. All right. Well, I love you guys. Have a wonderful day in the Lord and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.